I did something kind of bold and crazy for me. I'll take a few steps back. So if you, I was planning on getting a a new RV or a new used RV. The Hugmobile, you know, it just it's, it just has not been able to make it on on trips more than two hours, and so I was thinking of trying to get a newer one that was more dependable. And the more I shopped and the more I looked into it to get one that is not you know, without just buying another 30-year-old RV, I would have to put in, well, I was looking like 20 to 30, 35 grand. And I kind of started, I started shopping. I started, that was going to what I was going to do. And then I, and I, the more I thought about it, I'm like, if I'm going to do 35 grand, which would kill a huge portion, if not all of my, uh, my safety net and my nest egg, and is that really how I want to spend that money? And so I started thinking, well, maybe I should try to invest it in myself, try to invest it in the, this kind of, you know, this non-corporate work that I'm trying to do, whether it's speaking or book selling or coaching, and try to actually run it like more like a business, like having help or having an office or, you know, that, that 30 grand could go a long way to starting up a business. So... As I'm thinking about this, the back area, or the, there's, the, I live in a house that is connected to a studio, um, and the studio and I share a courtyard and share a backyard. And so, as this is all happening, my my studio neighbor said, "I'm I'm moving out," and I was like, "What if I rented that place and turned it into like a studio, like like set up Pug Nation cameras and mic'd it all so that I could make like higher quality videos on demand and not, and or maybe I could even." Um, you do interviews there, and I'm like, maybe what I could do is make it like a little, like put a, make it so people could stay there, and that people could come from out of town, and I could do overnight coaching, like, like adventures. We go have an adventure, stay the night, maybe have a few cocktails, whatever the case might be. Um, like a mini retreat, because I love coaching I love coaching and I'm, I'm, I love doing it via Skype. Let me take that back. I endure doing it by Skype. But I so much would rather be able to be with somebody, you know, and hug somebody and, you know, break bread with somebody. And so I don't know if anyone can do this because truthfully, it, it's, it would be, it, you need to have resources because it's, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to charge a certain amount to just to, to be able to make it worthwhile. Maybe as I as I'm starting, I might be able to you know make it much cheaper, but eventually it's going to be for people that have resources. Um so I'm I I got the keys yesterday. I now have this extra room to rent out um for overnights or multi-days or weeks to people that want to come in town to maybe do Hug Nation live, maybe to do for Saturdays, maybe to have an adventure, go to a festival, um, go to the beach, something that you know where we can get some hangout time. I've realized that I do enjoy coaching in a traditional sit down or or um, uh, phone or skyping, but what I really would love to do is to you know hang out with someone, do something together. The people that I've worked with that have had, you know, significant growth, it's when we hang out, you know? We're not talking constantly, trying to, okay, what should we be talking about? It's like, look, we've got a few hours. Let's go get some food, you know? Maybe we go, what, you want to go dancing? All right, let's do that. You want to go down to Mexico? All right. And and letting life and the adventure and the, and the, the, the walls break down into this comfort place. And so, you know... I wrote on the blog a, 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 a there's that um, Ray Bradbury quote, you know that that you need to jump off the cliff and then grow your wings on the way down, or figure out your wings on the way down, or something like that. And so that's what I did. I said, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, and now I got to figure it out. So wish me luck. And if you are uh, looking to do a holiday in San Diego, or any of the things I mentioned make sense to you or are interesting, please, please reach out to me. I would love to 
to try to make magic.